What's up everybody? This is Mana from The Fresh Native and today we're going to talk about going digital for the tattoo artist and why you should go digital. It's pretty simple. It's faster. It's really quick. You can cut your time down by a lot. Um, you can do full-blown projects with like no materials, no airbrush, no paint and you can still get the same effect and I'm going to show you some of the the positives of this. So I'll show you a few things um, why it would be easier for a tattoo artist like doing portraits, um, sketches of like just freehand sketches of certain things and completing projects. So let's take a look. So as an artist you know that doing portraits you would have to have a picture printed. You take that printed picture you might have a light box. You put that picture on the light box. You put your tracing paper over. Or some people just flip the picture over and trace the lines or the values they want to use for the face or blah, blah, blah. Then you take that picture. Then you got to put scan it and size it up to the person. Well, with this, I can basically just have the picture in the computer and just trace over it and make layers. So I can still keep the original picture and then I can have the line work separate. I could either I can even print the line work on the picture. So some guys they like to draw the line work on the picture and then the line work separate, but they like to print it with the line work so they can see the guide. With this you can do everything. You know what I mean? And it's real easy cuz you can zoom in on features that you need to zoom in on. There's a uh, and you can dim down the brightness so it's not so dark so you know what parts are going over what parts you need to trace it's super simple so as you see here I'm doing the line work for this portrait okay and I'm gonna break it down for you I'm gonna show you I'm gonna just sketch this out really quick and then I'll break it up in layers and I'll show you because right now I'm sketching in a layer right over the first layer the first layer is a picture of the portrait the second layer will be my line work and I'm gonna show you that right now so I'm going to speed it up right now, just cut ahead, show me sketching a little bit. So here we go, got the first layer, click, that's my line work. You can use this for your to print out on your stencil, or you can even put it on the picture and print that out as a reference as you're tattooing, so that's great. Now, Second, if you're an artist that likes to piece together certain elements to make like a, a composition or a picture for... A client you can do so like I'm doing here I'm taking a picture of a wolf and a moon that this client wanted and merging it together and you can do it this way still have the line work on one side and your references on the other and for the other artists like myself I like just creating off the top of my head so right here you can see me penciling in just freehanding some idea of a Japanese dragon I'm doing inking it and then painting it and I can have the, the layers separate. I can have the ink on one, the pencil on one, and even the color on another layer. So I can keep it all separate. And say if you mess up and you want the head somewhere else, you don't have to redraw the whole picture. You could just like cut out the layer and shift the head a little bit and then just redraw it. It's, you don't have to redraw the whole thing. You can just redraw that certain part. And that's why this is such a good idea for a tattoo artist. It saves time. It saves a lot of time. You don't have to redraw everything. You can stop, cut out a certain part, and then just do the part that you messed up on. It's, it's a so great tool. So, the big question, Wacom or my iPad Pro? I would have to go with my Wacom. My Wacom is great. It's dope. It runs full programs. For my iPad Pro, it doesn't run full programs. It's, it's a tablet. It, I mean, it's powerful. Everything in my house is... I love Apple. Everything in my house is Apple. Apple TV, Apple phone, my Apple computer. I've got everything Apple except my Wacom. The iPad Pro doesn't run full versions of like Photoshop, Sketchbook Pro. So you have the app versions of that. And those app versions are super limited. They don't even save like high quality pictures. They don't even perform with all the tools. It's, it's, it's pretty shitty. The only thing that they got on there that was worth your time as a tattoo artist is Procreate, which is a great program, but that's all you got. What I think Apple missed the mark on is the fact that my Wacom is a fully functional computer. The Cintiq is a computer, and it can run everything. 
it's a fully functional computer. It doesn't run apps. Well, it can run apps, apps and full programs. So that was the nail in the head. That was the killer. If Apple made, which they should have done, if Apple makes like an Air, like a MacBook Air where you can draw on or whatever, like a fully functional computer, Wacom's, I think Wacom would die. Wacom would be dead because that would be something. That's, I think Wacom, what's keeping Wacom is alive is the fact that they have this right now and that their displays are pretty good. They have, they have displays where you just plug into a computer and you can run that. But we're, we're kind of concentrating on like the iPad Pro mobile devices, mobile, mobile devices. Yeah. So if I had a pick, walk them all the way. Walk them Cintiq. Until Apple comes out with a fully functional computer you can draw on then I'm switching to Apple, but right now, it's still Wacom. They lead everything. Designers, comic book artists, all these guys run Wacom's. So. Now, the negative part about a Wacom maybe is the price because it's like twice as much as my iPad Pro. My iPad Pro was like a G. My Wacom was like 2500 So there's a big difference. That's what you get for owning a powerful computer that does basically everything. But some people don't need all of that. Some people just want to have sketches and line work. And if you want to do that, then... An iPad Pro is cool, just use Procreate, Rocket, but if you want to go the next step, take it further and have something dope, I would say I'll walk them, walk them all the way. But that's just my two cents, everybody's different, so uh, hit me up in the comments if you have any questions and let me know.